Yo, 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 what's going on, folks? It is K-Spade the Prospect. Back today with a brand new episode of Welcome to Sin City. And, folks, look at that five-star. I had to bring you guys here to show you. After the UNLV Nevada game where we had the sidelines filled up with high school talent, some of the best prospects in the nation, after that game, man, they was asking for pins. It was letters of intent flying all around the sideline, man. People were signing up, and we was able to lock in the best middle linebacker in the nation, the number one overall prospect in the nation, which happens to be one of the subscribers, one of the guys that got added to the pool. We locked them up. We locked up some more people too, man, but I'm going to make you guys wait. I wanted to show you that. I also wanted to show you that we jumped up in ranking. So we've been doing it real grande, man. We're going to continue to do it real grande. As you guys can see, we got more prospects on the sideline for today's game. We're still working on the trenches, working on the O-line as well as the D-line. We're trying to get as many as possible. You see Lexington Thomas is on a hot streak. We expect a big game from him today. And do not forget, we got some injured players out here, man. And unfortunately, it's on both sides of the football. The coach is saying K Spade Jr., the strong safety, out for a very long time. And on the offensive side, Makai Stevenson, the speedster wide receiver who was making a name for himself. Both of those guys probably would have been All-Americans if they was on the field. So, you know, next man up. I'll see you guys down on the field. Alright, alright, alright. Let's see what we got, man. Sam Boy Stadium looks good. The weather looks good, but you got you can't be fooled by this right here. Like, I've been in Nevada. It looked like the weather's good, but it's probably like a thousand degrees out here. Like Nevada got heat like I ain't ever seen before, man. It's hot to death out there. Hawaii comes out with possession on this first drive, looking to make moves. Picking up about six to seven on the first play, coming out on second and short, throwing a dart. You saw the defensive back diving, trying to get it deflection, and the receiver turned around, cut on the burners. Dylan, is it Dylan? Dylan, I'm going to call him Dylan. Dylan Collie takes it to the house, and Hawaii came out quick to make a statement. Now, we're going to throw it to the studio for an update, man. The studio updates, they really should just call it Upset City, man. Number four ranked Auburn Tigers go down to SEC rival. Arkansas Razorbacks came through there and took care of business and just in case you guys didn't know Army Navy and the Air Force are all in action today It's gonna be a big game man big games out there speaking of big games man in the last game We saw Lexington Thomas go off for 140 started the season off slow the kid has definitely hit his stride at a perfect time too like UNLV just getting into that conference schedule so this is when you really want Everything firing on all cylinders. Elliot fires pass right here for our money. Rogers. Luckily, that's a sabbat. That should have been a pick for the wrong team. Third and short. Our money checking it down to the speedster, Lexington Thomas, who somehow or another turns that into a 14-yard gain. I'm telling you, if you're a quarterback and you got you got running backs in the backfield that you can dink it to, who can do the rest of the hard work, it makes your job a whole lot easier. On second and short, they go back to Lexington. He picks up just almost enough for the first down. Later in that drive, you see the quarterback keep off the read option. This is something this team can do. Armani showed us last week that he got a big arm. If they need him to come out here and pass the football, he can do that too. But don't fall asleep in that secondary. This guy take off on you. Speed option right here gets him the first. Later in that drive on first and 10, we got double tights, a tight end in motion. Lexington Thomas running to the outside, trying to cut back inside that tight end block. Picks up about six yards from the carry. So far, two carries for 12. So six is what you can expect to get from the guy. Play action pass on second and short. Goes to the air. Beautiful pass by Brandon Presley. And it looked for a minute like he was going to share the tackle and possibly take that thing to the house. I love this play call right here. Kendall Key's been in the gym. The big receiver gets 11 on the play, but if you look at it, it was a fake QB keeper. Like, it looked like our money was going to run, and he stepped back through the quick pass. Kendall Keys was just tough to get down, almost got into the end zone. They go no huddle. We don't see a lot of this from the Rebels, and they go right back with the real QB keeper. Armani Rogers in the end zone. UNLV scores their first touchdown of the day. 
think but for you ink, I got this ink on Beautiful, my beautiful. Hands. So both offenses come out and put seven points on the board on their first drive. Hey, you know what I say. A game hasn't started until one of these teams have to punt the ball off. You know what I'm saying? If both teams are going to come out here and score like as easily as they seem to be doing, to me, this is like a 0-0 game. Bo Riley. Bo, 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 Bo Riley. Bo Riley out here talking trash to the UNLV sideline, and I'm sure that's going to get the attention of the big playmakers over here on the UNLV sideline. Like, you're not going to be able to do that in this. No type of payback. Second and short. Bo Riley keeping it. Shedding the tackle. Running through the cornerback. Getting the first down. Hey, Bo. All right, Bo. I see you. Bo tough. All right. First and ten. Hawaii still moving the ball with ease. Riley with time in the pocket. Decided to run at the last minute. And kind of got his head thrown into the turf. I don't know if that's a legal tackle. But that's what happened. I'm just a commentator. Second and forever. Riley wants to run. And he's running the wrong way, man. That guy right there. Stay away from that dude. He played for the other team. Third and forever for Hawaii. Riley takes a strike to the sideline. He is picked off by Darius Moulton. It's funny because that's the same guy Bo Riley ran over earlier in this drive. I'm telling you, man, football players got good memories. When you do shady things to them, they remember. It's always some, some get back. And you can see right there the head coach is over there consoling Bo and told him everything's going to be all right. But I just told you guys the game don't start until a team has to punt. And I should have said or turn the ball over. Now they turn the ball over. Presley with another big catch. Presley looked like he set up for a really good day. And, of course, the Rebels go back to the ground. Lexington Thomas darting in and out of the defense. Huge pickup on the play. Inside the red zone, Armani Rodgers looks to be changing the play at the line of scrimmage. Let's see what we got. Second and goal. Turns around, hands it off. Lexington Thomas goes straight into the end zone. Untouched. Touchdown, Rebels. in this shit with this ink all on my skin. Think before you ink, I got this ink all on my skin. 14-7 is your score. Hawaii feels the pressure, I'm telling you. You got to be thinking, Spade, how'd you know? I, trust me, I just know these things. When you come out and throw an interception and UNLV scores off of that, now you feel the pressure to come back and answer that score after you started the game off so great. On third down, though, that's a drop pass. Special team unit comes out, puts the football off. Now we might have a conundrum. Might be a situation. Lexington Thomas is darting through these green helmets and white jerseys. Like, I don't even know what's going on. Like, they there, but they not there. First and 10 for the Rebels. They go back to the read option. Armani Rogers keeps it. He's got a lot of green. He breaks out to the 10, the five. Touchdown, Armani Rogers. I put my soul in this shit with this ink all on my skin. Think before you ink, I got this ink all on my hands, man. I'm I try to be unbiased up in the commentator's booth, but that kid Armani Rogers, once you package him up with Lexington Thomas, that's a mean one-two punch, man. That's some... That's some 1990 Mike Tyson stuff right there. I don't know if you want those problems. Speaking of problems, Bo Riley in the pocket, man. The pressure was getting there. He was able to evade the first pass rusher. Then Bailey got there. You already know when Bailey get there, it's a sack. Like, just lay down. It's a sack. Fourth and forever. You guessed it. The punter, I hope he's been stretching. Look like that leg going to get a workout today. The punter comes back on the field to punt the football off. And the Rebel offense is back on the field. Let's see what we got. It's just under three minutes before the half. I'm not really sure if they look in the score, but it looks like they are. Again, you see what I'm saying about young Lexo. Throw it into the flats and watch this guy make plays. Like, this should have been probably a loss of yardage, maybe a gain of one. But LT spinning, winning, five yards on the play. They go back to the read option. Armani Rodgers. Oh, oh, my God, y'all. Do you see this stuff? That's a quarterback. That's a quarterback. And then when he ain't got the rock, he can turn around and hand it off to Lexington Thomas, who's picking up dang near 10 a pop. This offense is powerful, powerful. And let's, let's not forget about these receivers. He goes back to the air. Kendall Keys, 14 or 15 on the play. They are inside the red zone again. Xavier Campbell gets it in zone. He scores. Touchdown, Rebels. I put my soul in this shit with this ink all on my skin. Holy moly, donut shop. What can you say about a quarterback that's running your team over, the running back's running your team over, the running back gets spelled out, and the backup runs your team over. 177 rushing yards at the half for the Rebels, over 150 yards passing too, so it ain't sweet either way. Third quarter action, of course, Hawaii started this game off. Let's see what they got. The defense flushes Rodgers out of the pocket. He could have ran, kept his eyes down the field. And that's why I feel like if he continues to do that, Man, I'm scared of what this guy 
I'm scared of what this guy can do. Look at him running through the defense, scoring again. Touchdown, UNLV. I put my soul in this shit with this ink all on my skin. Think before you ink, I got this ink all on my hands, man. I'm growing up and I'm changing. Oh my goodness, man. Rogers is setting the Hawaii defense on fire. A game that started out 7 0 Hawaii. Now we've seen 38 unanswered points from the Rebels, and it's still a lot of time in this football game. A lot. Hawaii still struggling to get to that little yellow line on the football field. They can't do it. They end up bringing a special team unit on again, punting off again, and we right back to that ground and pound that the UNLV Rebels do probably better than any other team in college football. Second and short, Thomas got a little bit of a lane. He gets the first. He's got to get a few more. You see him signaling to the ref like, hey, man, that dude had a handful of my face mask. That's against the rules. The flag was thrown. It's a first and 10. Rodgers comes back, picks up 11 yards after that. It's another first and 10. They put it on the ground. LT picks up about 15 on this play. It's another first and 10. Imagine being on the defense and nothing you, nothing you do is working. Nothing that you do is working. Rodgers with another 16, 17 yards on the... Man, look at this. This might get ugly. Like, if you a high school kid and you are in attendance to this game, what's keeping you from signing that letter of intent? I'm ready to sign, and I'm a commentator. They go back to the air. Kendall Keys, eight yards on the reception. Kendall has not made it in the end zone yet, but I swear he got a couple of receptions that puts him right at the goal line. And look at Rodgers. Touchdown, Rebels. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I put my soul in this shit with this ink all on my skin. Think before you ink, I got this ink all on my skin. I'm telling you, Rogers is such a threat to run that he steps out of the pocket, scares the secondary. I'm just showing you that later in the game, he scored again to set the school record. Four rushing touchdowns in a game for the quarterback, Armani Rogers. Let's hurry up and close the curtains in this game. Hawaii came out. They had a really good game plan in the beginning, but after that turnover, once they were down, it completely changed their offensive game plan. They could never get right again. Also, give some credit to the defensive unit over here that really brought that A game. But your player of the game is Armani Rodgers. 20 of 25, over 200 yards passing, almost 200 yards rushing, five total TDs. The man went absolutely bonkers out here today. An amazing game. Look, you got 180 rushing from Rodgers. You got another 185 from Lexington Thomas. And then you still got Xavier Campbell coming in the game, getting limited carries, but still finding his way to the end zone. This UNLV offense is high powered. Anyway, folks, I am K Spade the Prospect signing off from Sam Boyd Stadium here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. You did do me a favor, bang the like. If you're new to my channel, hit subscribe, and I am out till next time, folks. Yeah.